So I did not get out a video yesterday, and of course, uh, the reason for this was that um, when I uploaded my reviews yesterday, or the day before yesterday, because I didn't get any videos out yesterday, was that I already had uploaded two reviews, which was ahead of schedule, because I wanted to do one every single day. So I just took a break. I didn't feel like I needed to get a review out, and I didn't. And I am now going to talk a little about this movie. Um, this is a very strange movie that I bought. I, you know, I shop at thrift shops, but I don't usually actually buy movies there. Because, of course, I look there, but I don't usually end up picking anything up. Because a lot of movies are very, um, let's just say... Strange, because a lot of people take their DVDs and they drop them off and Blu-rays and things. They don't take very good care of them, or they're just things that people don't want no more, and it's not usually good stuff. And most of the time, it's usually just DVDs and VHS tapes, which I don't want. If there is a DVD of something that I do want, it's because I cannot get it on Blu-ray, so... But uh, this was a very strange find because this uh, thrift shop I went to didn't have any Blu-rays. But uh, I bought this for about three bucks and it's a documentary about Pink Floyd called The Story You Wish You Were There For. If you don't know, Pink Floyd is a British band. They're most famous for their album The Wall, which is a 10 out of 10 amazing album that tells this deep and dark complex story about suicide and kind of these different complex themes um it's also uh a really good movie that you should watch honestly i'm a big uh pink floyd fan i haven't listened to every album and every song of theirs but of course i do like their music so when i saw this i was like oh this is an intriguing pickup uh i do not like this documentary um i'm never really bored during movies i will tell you that i get bored during some movies yes but I'm not usually one to get bored, especially during documentaries. But this was a very boring documentary. Number one, I don't know for a fact that this is a TV documentary. I tried to look up some information because I wanted to know, like, the runtime and, and the kind of what the deal was with this movie. Where did it come from? Because I think, if it, I think it's a TV documentary. Because on the back here it says bonus footage an additional 20 minutes of previously unseen on TV. I get, I, for, I, on Wikipedia it said it's a British BBC thing. I don't know. It doesn't say BBC anywhere on this. I do not know. Um, but I, I don't know anything about this. Uh, and I don't. I'm kind of confused what this is. Documentary was quite boring. It wasn't really interesting. This is, I swear this is a TV documentary. I cannot prove it. I have a very high hypothesis, I guess you would say, that this is a TV documentary about Pink Floyd, but I don't know that for a fact. I think um, a lot of this movie is uh, kind of weird. It's not a very interest docu interesting documentary. It's not edited all that well. It's not shot all that well. And it's not really saying anything to keep me all that engaged. I just got bored by it. It's a very nice looking Blu-ray though. This cover is pretty cool. Uh, the back has a pretty you know, nice description. Um, and of course the inside is really nice. Because of course, this was like a brand new Blu-ray by the way when I bought this. Uh, there's this booklet that kind of gives you a list of I, I think like some of the songs that they cover in different things. And, you know, there's some interesting parts of this documentary. I just wasn't really all that engaged in it because of the way it was shot, kind of the way it was edited and put together, and just the way people were talking. Just It didn't engage me all that much. Cool background and, like, the case and everything. It's really, really, really nice. Um, I didn't even really open this after buying it. That's how long I've had this. I've had this for about, I don't even know how long. And I didn't even know it came with a booklet, so. But, uh, it's okay. It's, a, it's an okay TV documentary, but I just was not all that engaged by it. I'm sure there's better 
uh, documentaries of Pink Floyd that you could probably watch out there. They're a very popular band, so I'm sure there's a lot of documentaries out there that you can watch. This was not um, a bad documentary, but it wasn't just it wasn't all that interesting. There, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot better documentaries of Pink Floyd you can find out there. In fact, I'm going to try to find some because I, I do want to know more about this band. But this really, I didn't feel like I learned all that much new or interesting about this band. Um, I don't even really understand where this documentary came from, who made it. Um, was it a TV documentary? Was it not? I don't really know. But I'm going to keep this in my collection just because I'm a Pink Floyd fan and I did technically buy this. So I'm going to keep this in my collection. It's not a bad movie. It's just okay. I'm going to keep this around. Don't know if I'm ever going to watch it again. Probably not. 